John. I guess we can all exhale after that one. What's your reflections on the 90 minutes that just transpired? I thought it was a, a brilliant first half. I thought both teams like, played some really good stuff. Um, we had clearer probably opportunities. They had a lot of the ball but weren't creating any clear cut chances. Um, but uh, it was a great, it was a great game. It was, it was really good. And then when we went 2-0 up, you know, what probably hurt us a little bit was the goal just before half time because, you know, of course, their heads might drop a little bit. That gave them a bit of a lift. And then the second half, yeah, they, they got on top of us. We still had a pretty good chance with uh, Alex Prijevic. And then the, they, they started to gain territory and, and create their opportunities. And in the end, we had to hang on. But, you know, that, that's normal as well when you're, you're playing against a team that's been together for a long period, know each other really well, full strength, uh, you know, only one player, one of their better players, obviously, missing. Um, but, you know, probably another team would have buckled and lost the game, uh, you know, in that, those circumstances. So we didn't. So I'm really proud of the boys. Um, and it's a positive point for us. It, uh, it really is because, um, you know, we, we haven't lost to them, uh, you know, this season. Uh, beaten twice and drawn once. So that, that, that's positive. And we know, we know that we've still got a lot of improving to do. So, you know, we, uh, but the, the first half performance was, was great. It looked like in that first half you were really able to get out quickly and get in behind them. I think well, um, Rene's goal, quintessential example of that, felt as though that was less common in the second half. What do you think that was down to? It just you were pushed further back and couldn't get out. Or? No, look, and, and I'm not here to you know uh, make excuses, but we also have to understand some of the players that haven't played a lot of football. You know, so of course they tire because that first half tempo was that was high, probably the highest that we've played all season and there's a couple of boys and, and Rene uh, Crooney is one of them that he's still finding you know the, the tempo his legs and you know first half he was great and then you know he's tired a little bit and then you know Odisse Bay who's, who's a young boy that's only started three games in A-League you know since he's been involved in the first team so that's normal they're going to tire a little bit and, and that was you know well, obviously a couple of our older experienced players that could have actually you know, manage the game in a different way. It weren't there, but you know, no, no criticism at all and no excuses. It was, you know, a game that uh, we we could have ended up losing. You know, even though we were in the box seat. Well, on the subject of Rene's goal, it came as a result of Dylan getting down the right and cutting it back. It looked like that was a match-up, uh, Dylan on Scott Jamison, that you were trying to exploit in the first half. Was that something you'd identified? Yeah, well, look, we recognised that the way they press, and you saw at times it looked like they were being a little bit risky, but we knew if we beat that first line that we could get down the other end pretty quickly. So, you know, we were happy to do so. Um, in the second half, we didn't do it as well. Um, but, yeah, we, we know that you know, Dylan Parise's pace... Um, you know, Scott Jamison's a great defender and experienced, so it was always going to be a good matchup. But um, you know, something that you know we felt that we could actually um, you know hurt them, but not not because of anything, but because of the way they press us. And and, and if you're good enough to play through, and we copped a, a goal from us playing out, you know, and it, it just a slight touch forward, and we're going down the other end. But you know, that's the risk v reward, and. Um, we scored a goal from it, we copped a goal from it. And that's why they press us like they do. Talking about Game of Inches, I mean, Josh Risen had that moment in the first half. You know, he got beaten by Tilio, but he did that amazing effort to get back and clear the ball off the line and put together all together an amazing game. I guess, how do you see his performance coming back into the team after a week off? Yeah, no, Josh was great. And, um, you know, he hadn't trained a lot for the, the last week or so. So, you know, it wouldn't have been easy for him to play at that tempo, but he he was superb. And the, the way that he, he defended, the way that, um, you know, he never gives up, his, his uh, forward defending, He's, he's aggressive and um, so no, I was really happy with his performance. I mean, it was a great atmosphere out there today, I mean, from both fans. Did you feel that the players were feeding off that a lot? I mean, it got quite loud in that first half from both sets of fans. It was becoming quite an exciting affair, especially throughout the whole game. Yeah, and, and we'll grow, we'll, you know, with our fan base, of course, they're only two years old, so that's going to grow. And and a lot of the time, it does give your players a lift. Um, we, we haven't got that yet, you know, but today it, it felt more so. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully they come back because they saw some great football and exciting football in that first half. 
and uh, and you know because that that does help the players you know go up another level. Sometimes we have to find that energy from ourselves, um, but today you know that the fans really really helped us get that energy. On the subject of growing, we neglected to ask you this in your pre-game press conference, but the announcement midweek that your training facility has actually been approved and that should be ready, I think, at some point next year. Is that an exciting thing for the club? Very exciting. Very exciting. We, we know that, uh, and I keep mentioning it, that we're on a journey. That's part of the journey. You know, once we do have that uh, training facility, then we, we have a home. And then the next step is to have a, a home stadium um, that, you know, our supporters know that that's where all our home games or majority of our home games will be. So it's exciting for the club. And look, as, as a coach, I, I you know, I looked uh, day to day and, and making sure that we're prepared for the game. But, um, you know, as a club, um, you know, the whole football club, it's, it's very exciting for us. Joey asked PK this question just before. Be remiss of us not to ask you as well. I mean, when you looked at that game as a coach and, you know, you sort of did, was there a moment when you sort of took it in and went, wow, like this is an incredible game of football? Because we were at times in awe of just, you know, as you mentioned, the tempo the game was being played at, the entertaining affair. I mean, probably one of the games of the season. Yeah, as a coach, you don't look at it too much and go, this is great for the fans to watch. <laughs> You're sort of going, you know, because there's things that when they do it well, that, that we know they're going to do that and, and we're trying to stop them from doing it. And, and they're probably feeling the same as us, you know, that there's things that they know we're going to do, but when we do it so well. And, you know, and look, we, we robbed balls in very good areas. Dylan Price had a great chance in the first half, but they also played through us at times because we were trying to win balls in those areas. It was, it technically, it was a very good game. And, uh, and on top of that, it was exciting. Yeah, four goals. Um, and, you know, the, the fans did make the atmosphere as well. And just a question, Nick Milanovic um, injured um, out one to two weeks, I guess. What's the prognosis? With yeah, him, a few mate? weeks. He, uh, he broke uh, the bone in his hand, so he, he put a pin in there. But it's nothing too major. On the goal for Rene, we saw the whole bench and the subs come across to celebrate with him when he scored. You must have been delighted for him, given the, the challenges that he's had to deal with since joining the club. Yeah, very, very happy for him because he's uh, he's been through a lot. Um, you know, and, and as a club, a whole, you know, the, the, everyone involved in the club has really helped him along with that. So that's that's why he came to the group um, because, you know, he, he's been supported by not only the players and uh, and the majority of the, if not everyone within the club. So it was it was great to see him score, um, and we know that he will get better. Um, we saw in that first half there were so many good things that he did. Um, and the goal just capped it off, really, because it was it was great movement. It was a great goal, and it was something that you know it's sort of off the training field as well. So that's probably why he was so excited. Talking about City's press, um, you mentioned the turnover that led to one of their goals, and there were a number of other occasions where very nervous your back four and Jamie knocking the ball around as blue shirts were swarming. What sort of lessons can you take out of that? Because City are one of the few teams in the A-League that actually will press with that ferocity and that aggressiveness. Yeah, no, there were certain times that we felt that we outnumbered them when we did change uh, the ball um, and we just needed to find the solution and we it was taking us a little bit too long to find the solution and sometimes we just needed to be on the half turn and we and we're going forward and you know we ended up playing back so then they that gives them an opportunity to keep going and pressing um, but you know you have to be brave to play that way and and I want my players to be brave because we know that once they get through that there's joy and then we did have some joy getting through it at times, they, they also uh, they also won the ball in, in dangerous areas. You spoke about how today was a really open, exciting end-to-end -end game, which hasn't necessarily been a theme or, or what we've seen every week from your side. But is today what you want to see? Is today the Western United way that you want to play, where it is more open and more expansive? We look. Um, it's a good question because you know, I we. And I've mentioned quite a few times that we will end up, uh, you know, evolving as a team. So we, we, we need to make sure that we get our basic structures right and we're, we're doing that. And then after we can actually start to improve once we gel, once we get to know, it, uh, you know, the players get to know each other a bit more. Because we, we completely changed the system. 
So we played against a team that's played that system for three, four seasons, and we've come and, and changed the system completely. So it takes time. Um, yes, of course, we want to play, uh, you know, attacking brand of football, and but that's that also takes time. And um, you know, I mentioned, you know, the goals that we're scoring. You know, there was another two goals today. Um, we don't want to be too open that we're going to concede goals, but against a team like that, you, of course they're going to punish you when you know that you make one little error because they're, they're that good that they can punish you. So you felt like today was an evolution in that process, or, or an oh, example? Oh no, we, we, we're getting better every week. We also have to understand um, who we play against, the opposition that we're playing against. You know, other you know teams play a different way, and so you know we, we're. We're looking at playing a certain way because we believe we can win a football game, but there's sometimes you have to manage a football game and, and try and win it. You know, we uh, we know how to win when teams, you know, play and sit off of us. We know how to win when teams will press us. We have to learn how to win, you know, no matter how the opposition is playing. And it doesn't always mean it's going to be like that because, you know, sometimes the, the opposition won't press you for long periods like they do. Um, they'll sit off, so then you have to be more patient. But um, yeah, the football that uh, was played was was great for everyone, I think. Yeah, just a quick two-parter, John. First, any injuries coming out of this one? And then with the seven-day break till Sydney FC, expect anybody to come back for that? Um, no injuries at the moment that I know of, but there's always someone that's uh, on the treatment table get, getting looked at. So you don't know until later on or tomorrow or the day after. Um, in terms of getting players back, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm hoping Deer will be available. I'm not sure. Hoping Neil Kilkenny will be available. Um, I know that Connor will be better for playing a half hour uh, today. Um, uh, Milanovic will still be out. But other than that, then pretty much the, then we'll start to get everyone back in.